It's Wednesday morning in Wise County. Hello and welcome to the August 29th edition of the Wise County Messengers Update Live, brought to you today by Carl Clement Ford. Be sure and check your copy of All Around Wise in your mailbox and on newsstands today for our fall sports section called Friday Night Lights. It's free all over Wise County today. And now the news. The United States Department of Agriculture has issued a disaster declaration for Wise County due to the drought conditions. Wise is one of five counties designated as primary disaster areas along with Dallas, Denton, Parker, and Tarrant. Farm operators in both primary and contiguous counties are eligible for low interest emergency loans from the U.S. Service Department. It's in addition to the Livestock Forage Program, which offers relief for grazing losses due to the drought. For more information, contact the Farm Service Agency in Decatur. Outdoor burning is still prohibited in Wise County. County commissioners did tweak the document Monday for its renewal. The full burn ban was renewed for 30 days through the end of September. The renewal includes a clause, however, effective immediately, allowing County Judge J.D. Clark to lift the ban or revert to the red flag no burning fire danger ban based on the weather. My recommendation is to extend the current burn ban for 30 days, but if we do get another significant rain event come through, we could either revert back to it or kill it, said Wise County Emergency Management Coordinator Cody Powell. The 8th Annual Taste of Wise is 5 to 8.30 p.m. Thursday at the Decatur Conference Center. For $10, you can sample food and drinks and appetizers from restaurants all across Wise County. There will also be live entertainment, door prizes, and cash giveaways. The event is split into two different sessions, 5 to 6.30 p.m. and 7 to 8.30 p.m. To buy 5 p.m. tickets, go to wcms.com slash taste5, and to buy 7 p.m. tickets, go to wcms.com slash 7. You can also buy tickets at the door. Entertainment will also be provided. Cruise nights on the Wise County Courthouse Square is this Saturday night from 4 to 8 p.m. Registration is from 4 to 7 p.m. and the registration fee is $15. And now last night's volleyball results. Bridgeport rallied to beat 3A powerhouse Peaster in five sets. Tiffany Wooten led the Sissies with 15 kills. Northwest swept Richland. McKenna Miller and Corey James buried nine kills each. Haltom swept the Paradise Lady Panthers, but Ashley Kosman led Paradise in kills with five. Kennedy Schink dissed out ten assists. The Decatur Lady Eagles beat Boswell three to one on the road. Satasha Kostalecki served the game-winning ace and recorded eight kills and nine blocks. The Boyd Lady Yellow Jackets swept Azel. Jordan Todd led Boyd with 14 kills, while Delaney Pellegrini hit nine kills, made five blocks, and a hit 409. Petrolia beat Alvord in five sets. Kenley Walker recorded 15 kills and 24 digs for the Lady Bulldogs in the loss. And now today's funeral services. Memorial services for Betty Doyle, 64 of Bridgeport, is at 2 o'clock Tuesday, September 11th at Hawkins Funeral Home Chapel in Decatur. Service for Susan Ray, 63 of Runaway Bay, will be held at a later date. Hawkins Bridgeport is handling arrangement. Funeral for Jerry Daw, 79 of Fort Worth, is at 11 a.m. Friday at Hawkins Funeral Home Chapel in Boyd with burial in the Boyd Cemetery and service for Chan Stewart Horn, Sr., 73 of Springtown, is pending at Jones Family Funeral Home in Bridgeport. Well, thank you for watching Update Live, brought to you today by Carl Clement Ford. It's expected to be another hot day all across Wise County. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Roy Eaton.